Okay, here's a quick review of what you need to do. First, you're going to go to the Finder, and you're going to drag your logo onto Final Cut, just above the timeline here. Uh, center it the best you can there. Since I know the center between these two clips is at 923, I'm going to move my playhead. Well, first of all, I want to change this to two seconds. So I make sure this is selected. Double click here. Type in a two and a period. Hit enter. Now, since I know my playhead is at the center right here, I'm going to move this uh, eyeball at the center. If you want to be picky, pay attention where your playhead hit is here in the center. Mine's at 923, so I'm going to go to 823. Um, move that out of the way. Uh, right there. And then this is going to go there. And since I know it's one second here to here, and this is two seconds, this must be another, I mean, this is 1023. Anyway, so now with your playhead at the beginning of this clip, and you'll see you have an L-shaped bracket here. That means I'm on the first frame here. I'm going to come over, and I'm going to set the opacity to zero, and I'm going to turn on keyframing right there. Click. Then I'm going to go forward 15 frames. Just use the right arrow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right there. I'm going to take this back up to 100%. And I'm going to go to the end. I could count. I want to count 15 frames back, but it's easier if I go to the end. Now, I'm not on the video clip. I mean, the uh, logo clip. So I have to go back one frame. So I'm going to hit the left arrow. And you can see the bracket right here. And I'm going to change the opacity to zero. Notice I don't have to be marking keyframes anymore. It's doing it for me. So I'm at zero here. I'm at 100 here. You can watch this as I slide the playhead. And then right here, I'm going to back up 15 frames from my this keyframe. Back up with the left arrow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I'm going to set another keyframe. I want this to be 100%. So now if I go through my animation, you'll see that right here it starts to fade on. It'll stay. Once it hits here, it'll stay solid for a second. And then a half second later, it'll fade off. And you can watch the percentage right there. And if I come over here and hit play, you'll see that it, it plays normal. You can even watch the percentage here as I go. That's it.